Great folks, again, it's Stone Ward McCarthy here with Kelly Williams Realty, uh, bringing you our update for what happened uh, in Blurdale Village and Dovercourt Village. I'm actually going to combine uh, the two videos because uh, there were actually only four transactions uh, in total for both the areas for January of 2019. Uh, so let's jump in really quickly to what went on in kind of the Toronto's West End, north along the subway line from Christie Pits all the way over to High Park. I know it's not as specific as Bloordale or Dovercourt, but it gives you a good idea what's going on. Um, so, our average price um, for W2 in this area for detached homes is $1.139,000. For attached and row houses, average price was $951,000. Um, and townhomes were $635,000. And um, apartments, were on average 583,000. Um, now, we just heard about what the GTA average increase in price was. It was 1.7%. That's for all housing stock across the GTA. Um, so specifically, the increases in prices um, year over year for our areas was the detached product up 8%. Not bad. Uh, attached, um, semi-detached and row houses up 5%. Not bad again. Uh, townhomes up 7% and apartments up uh, almost 12%. Uh, so as you can see uh, in our area there is actually quite a more positive um, story going on. Uh, let's very quickly jump into what those home sales were. So first to Bloordale Village. Uh, the only sale in Bloordale Village uh, last month, January 2019, was 52 Russet Avenue. Uh, this home sold um, about a year, maybe 18 months ago, um, sold for 950 a home that needed um, a full renovation, etc., etc. So they listed that at uh, 1,198,000. They held off offers and it sold in eight days for 1,382,000. And that was 52 Russet Avenue. Okay, now the next three sales which occurred in Delaware or in um, Dovercourt Village. We had 404 Delaware Avenue. You may have seen the Globe and Mail article about the 10 offers on this property. Uh, good frontage, detached home, but an absolute gut job. Um, listed at 799, so very attractively sold for a million and 60. In eight days, we have 325 Concord Avenue. Um, so this one, again, property locationally not in the best spot, um, listed at $779,000, uh, sold in six days for $910,000. And then we had one Southview Avenue, so facing um, Dovercourt Park itself, uh, a really nicely renovated home there, uh, listed at a million and seventy-nine, sold in six days for a million three hundred and twenty-five. Um, offers in that home actually was uh, the Monday night when we had the storm. So if we didn't have that snowstorm, maybe you could have gotten another couple of offers in the door. Could have done it a bit better, possibly. Um, that's just my opinion. So there you have it. All these listings, these sales are below me. You can get all the data down there. You can get the market charts that we've spoken about, uh, the GTA charts, and of course what's happening in the West End. Um, but I also wanted to say down below me as well too, there's a, a nice chart that aggregates um, the last six months of sales in both Blurdale and Dovercourt Village. You can pull that up, so let's say you have a semi-detached three bedroom home, you can see how many sales in that category were in the last six months, what was the average price, what was the highest price, on average how much above or below listing price are they selling, and of course on average how long are they taking to sell. Again, it's Dolan Ward McCarthy here with Keller Williams Realty. If you do want any evaluation in your home, if you're thinking of a move this year, please do reach out to us. We are your local professionals. Thank you so much.